Mr. Steely, students of the month, and then we'll go to auction after. That's okay. Okay. All right. First travels. So Oldham County High School's finishing out the Rotary Pro Student of the Month program for the year with the two outstanding young ladies again this month. Uh, first up is Kyler Desconti, and she has a very interesting uh, speech ready to talk with you guys today. Hi, how's everyone doing? Done. <laughs> I am going to be attending the Mahurin Honors College next year at Western Kentucky University. Um, to me, this is actually a huge accomplishment because I am a former Buckner Alternative High School student. Um, I was uh, sent there in seventh grade and I attended there until my junior year of high school. So last year was my first real year of high school. Um, I actually passed with all A's and I got an award for that. Um, <laughs> So as a child, I struggled with coping mechanisms after the suicide of my father. Mm -hmm. It was uh, hard because, you know, nobody knows how to deal with it. <laughs> so um, I always got stuck on the question, why? Like, why this, why that? Um, but I've learned that you cannot ask the question why because there is no answer to why. You just have to be like, it is what it is and continue on with your life. Um, I have found the gym to be a really nice place to escape. Um, it's somewhere you can go to just be yourself and do what you want to do and ignore the world around you. Um, I plan to study exercise science and psychology next year at WKU. I would like to be an entrepreneur and have my own counseling psychiatry business. I would like to create a safe space for people to feel belonging and to receive adequate mental health care um, so they can you know, feel better about themselves and live their best life and reach self-actualization. Um, as far as the road as I have walked, um, I still have a long one to go. You know, life's a long road. Everyone <laughs> has to walk it. Um, thankfully, I have not been alone, though, on my road because my mom has always been there for me. I would like to say that she's my rock, but she's honestly my heart and soul. I couldn't have done it without her. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> um, All right, so next we have Eliza Mark, and Eliza this year also was a Rotary student of the month for the Arvin session. I don't know if she's used the same speech or if she changed it up a little bit, but next up is Eliza Markham. Hello, like he said, my name is Eliza Markham. Um, I did meet you guys a few months ago when I was Rotary Student of the Month for the Arvin Center. So it's nice to see you guys again, and I'm very honored to be here. Um, to recap a little bit, I'm a senior, and I'm about to graduate. Um, I'm excited to go to college this fall to begin my degree in nursing. Um, I'm not using the same speech. <laughs> Today, I'm going to make my speech a little different because I was lucky enough to go on the, um, or because I was lucky enough to talk about myself a few months ago. Um, so instead, I'm going to be talking about the hand-in-hand -hand trip um, to Oxford, Kentucky, um, that I was fortunate enough to go on a few weeks ago with some of your very own Rotary members. <laughs> um, so a little bit about the Hand in Hand Ministries. Um, they provide resources for the economically vulnerable through their programs, um, and they believe in building strong communities and opening our hearts and minds to the needs of others. Um, a few weeks ago, I went with a group of girls and a guy. One is here. Both of, well, two of them are here, <laughs> um, as well as four Rotary members um, to the Hand in Hand location in Oxford, Kentucky. We went down on a Sunday afternoon and were able to relax and bond that night over dinner and a movie. 
Um, and then Monday, we worked on a wheelchair ramp that had already been started by a group for us. Um, and it was for a male who needed it post-surgery. Um, Monday evening, we got invited to a dinner hosted by the Rotary Club in Paintsville, where we got to share what we were doing a little bit and a little bit about um, the hand-in-hand -hand ministries with them. Um, and it was fun. Um, then we went, uh, the next two days, uh, we tore down and hung drywall for a woman named Kathy who had severe damage to her house from the floods last year. Um, and then we also had fun at a karaoke and line dancing place Tuesday evening. Um, but throughout this experience on this trip, I learned the value of community and how close a group of people can grow within just a couple of days. I also learned that having more things doesn't yield more happiness because throughout my experiences with Hand in Hand, this was not my first trip. Um, I have met some of the happiest people, yet they hardly have anything. Um, so I love this ministry and I love this trip and I recommend taking opportunities like this when you can because it is definitely worth it. Thank you for your time. So I understand that there were a couple of questions that Al wanted us to answer. So you can walk first 20 steps right after that. Um, so uh, there is, it is worthwhile, I think, us spending a little bit of time hearing from Gray, hearing from Sophie, um, and maybe even hearing from Amy Markham about how she might perceive change in others. Because uh, Eliza has attended four, I think, three mm -hmm. times, and that was all Eastern Kentucky. Um, so I think it's very worthwhile that we spend a little bit of time even debriefing that. We've got plenty of time. So Al, you had a couple of questions you wanted us to answer. Are you going first? No, I want you to read the questions, <laughs> and then you answer your own questions. All right. You, you got to do your own work here. Those of you who know me know I love working with teenagers, so I was really excited about going on this trip, and we had an amazing group of teenagers. It was, it was awesome. Uh, Sandy Johnson couldn't stay, and she hated to miss. And Denise is helping with the polls today, and she couldn't be here either. The two questions, what was your favorite memory of the trip? I can answer that for Denise. She never told me this, but I just know from experience. Was going on a mission trip with her grandson, Grayson. I know she'll never forget that. And uh, he's a very fine young man. Uh, he needs to improve his, his billiards skills just a little bit. Oh, <laughs> Uh -huh. We had a great time, and it was terrific having Grayson on the trip with us. Um, and then what did you learn that you will continue to use? Um, my favorite part of the trip and what I will continue to use are the same thing. Um, this is my second trip with Rotary. Uh, the first trip, I got to go to Belize, and Courtney Baxter was on that trip. And... Um, we came back really good friends. And to this day, I always look forward to the chance to visit with and catch up with Courtney and what's going on with her and, and Barry's lives. And, and it was, it's just very a, a, a meaningful relationship that we were able to build by serving others far away. And it's the same thing this trip. Um, uh, Matt and I hardly knew each other except through luncheons. Uh, I've known Sandy and Denise for many years, but we got to know each other so much better. And if you want to build friendships through your Rotary Club, then sign up and go on one of these trips. Because I promise you that you'll come back with some new friends that you'll be seeing as long as you're both Rotarians. And uh, I just was really blessed with the uh, chance to build that friendship with Matt, who still talks to me. Thank you. <laughs> and, um, and then to even have a Denise and I were riding back together, just the two of us, because of the way the car set up worked out. We talked the whole time, four hours. It was great. We weren't even done talking when we got back to town. It was fantastic. So those are the memories I'll always have of um, my two trips. And and if if you guys don't fill in when we say we need people to go on these trips, then I may go on the third one one of these days too. I, I know that your speech didn't quite answer those questions yeah. directly. Do you want to give it a try? 
putting you on the spot. Here, let's take her. Take them. Oh. And Sophie and Gray, do you want to give it a try? Yeah. yeah. It's okay. okay. <laughs> what is that? Answer the question she's talking about. Well, yeah, at, I first. in turn, not all at once, right? Okay. That's what I meant. Okay, come on, Sophie. <laughs> Hi, everybody. My name is Sophie. Um, I've been on two of these books with hand in hand. And oh, thank you. <laughs> and well, this one was my second one. And I feel like both my uh, the answers to both of the questions definitely go together. And like Eliza said, um, my favorite part of the trip was definitely um, bonding with everybody. Like I bonded with all the girls and the guy we went on. And then definitely like also the Rotary members we went on with. And so my favorite memory was definitely um, one time me and this other girl that went on the trip, we were underneath the man's house, like under his porch, like putting this pole under it. And like, we could not figure out how to do it. And like, um, one of the construction managers just told us like, put the pole under there and the pole was giant. And we were like, there's no way this is about to fit under there. And he just told us to go for it. And then whenever we went under there, we figured it out and it all worked out. And so it was just like, it was a great experience. And we bonded a lot while underneath that porch. <laughs> and then, um, the two things I learned were definitely like exactly what Eliza said. Like you, um, like all like stuff doesn't yield happiness and everything because how, like as she said, um, Kathy, the second lady, she was one of the like the happiest people like we've ever met, and she like had lost everything. Like her whole life was turned upside down and everything, but yet she was like still so happy and like brought so much like positive energy and everything. And then also, um, definitely the connections with everybody. Like I said before, like. Only, like with the girls and everything but also I feel like before the Rotary members like scared me and then <laughs> the trip, like we bonded with them so much it's like we got to ride in the car with all of them like at least for an hour for each of them and so I think we bonded with every single one of them so much we have like inside jokes and everything and so I feel like that was definitely my favorite awesome. that's great Feel that I have like one favorite memory. I could I love the whole trip. It was really fun. Um, I would say that it was very fun to go line dancing and doing karaoke, um, especially because I just I had only been working with these people, you know, so I just seen them doing like hard labor, and then we go out and we used to sing karaoke together and dance with the dance floor, and it was it was really good. Um, and then I would say something that I would continue or something I learned that I will continue to use is just um, to have a servant heart. I think that was just the greatest thing that I learned just um, because you're there to serve the people, but it doesn't, you don't have to necessarily only do that on a mission trip or, you know, you can do that in your community like you guys do here um, and just in your everyday life. So yeah, I'd say that's probably it. Right. Is this working? Are we good? Okay. Uh, my favorite trip, wait, my favorite memory of the trip was probably just anytime we weren't working. Uh, not because, you know, I'm lazy, but because after we were doing, when we were done working, we're all kind of tired. We took some time to ourselves to kind of think of what we did. And then after we would all go and we would hang out and do something, we'd go to dinner or we would like go to like the rec room and uh, watch a movie or I'd get my butt be in and pool. <laughs> Um, but it was just kind of fun to think about like how we would all how we all interacted when we didn't have any real reason to stick around, but that we still chose to stick around anyway. Um, and that was just really cool to me. Um, and something that I learned that I will continue to use after the trip is just a few things, mostly discipline and the importance of community. Uh, and also to not kind of to work together with other people because I used to be very, um, what's the word, solitary, and just try to do things myself. And one thing that really hit me hard was when we went to uh, Kathy's house and how we learned that for the most part, she was doing everything herself, fixing all of, trying to like repair her, the house all herself. And then she realized that she needed other people's help, otherwise she would just be doing it forever. And that was something that kind of just hit me really hard. Uh, I mean, I've never been in a situation that serious, but. It's just like, like the metaphor of it or whatever. Um, and then just the discipline of 
knowing of like knowing to take your time, uh, measure twice, cut once, mm. literally for me because I was holding the saw. Mm. <laughs> Um, and just all of that, of knowing to like make sure to take your time and do everything really carefully. Uh, and then also that working with other people can be just very good. I don't know, that's kind of it. That's great. <laughs> Read the questions. <laughs> what is your favorite memory? Okay. Uh, favorite memory is second day. Uh, I was working with two Sophies and Alexi, and we were tearing drywall out of, of Kathy's uh, uh, laundry room. And, uh, and in the process, we realized that there was a hole, no drywall, no insulation between our room and the room where, uh, where Eliza and Alex and Kate were working with a non-Rotarian new friend, Dave Capella is his name. Uh, hand in hand brings new people in uh, to help serve their skilled in specific ways. They can give them the ability to actually run a crew because that's weird. I know next to nothing about carpentry or drywall, and they said run a crew, and Dave has done that a lot. So they bring people like that who can do some some high high highly technical things or more technical. In the process of realizing that there was a, a door or a, a hole between the two of us, we also started talking about the fact that we have one who loves Taylor Swift music and a room that doesn't. <laughs> and there became a Kenny Chesney versus Taylor Swift debate with two very loud radios or two very loud phones playing music. No one could hear anything except noise but there was a lot of great conversation and great bonding over that that was a lot of fun the one takeaway that i have is this one word that that uh that gail gave us as we were heading off on our first thing to work on the ramp um is you may not get the job done don't worry it will get done we didn't get to finish either job uh and that was frustrating Sophie and I were working on the the railing for that that uh, that uh, the wheelchair ramp, and we ran out of time. And it, the way they run it is they're not trying to burn volunteers out. They're trying to help volunteers learn something and to enjoy something and not feel like it's a massive burden. But we could have spent another hour and a half to finish that rail. They don't put pressure on you to do that. The, the frustrating part of that is the gentleman who we were working on that ramp for died that night. Mm -hmm. And you kind of think there's a lot of done, you know, there's a lot that needs to be <clears throat> that needs to be done. And you, you feel for that a little bit. Um, when you think about when you think about the, the drywall. Uh, I was putting the washer back in place after we were done the last day and not to my problem, I didn't do this, but the uh, the washer and dryer were not sufficiently grounded. There was an arc that sparked between the two and therefore probably the washer no longer works. And we're lucky the gray is still alive because he moved it first. And what? <laughs> you didn't do it, it was me, but you could have been hurt. And you kind of think, okay, you're putting yourself in somebody's life a little bit, fixing drywall, moving stuff. And you realize that there are times when you're going to have to do something a little bit more aggressive and you're, you kind of have a little bit of a risk uh, and you take that risk for some of us. So the lesson for me is you don't have to worry about getting everything done. It's actually pretty well timed for me because I'm almost done as being president here, but the job isn't done. And I don't have to stress about the job being done right now because Steve is coming and Al is coming and Joyce is coming. And we have good leaders who care, who are servants, who are going to help keep this thing going. And frankly, this is 99, 98 years into the LaGrange Rotary Club, and it hasn't been done yet. We're all still in the oven, so we're going to be okay. Uh, that's a lesson that fits me really, really well. So uh, I'm thrilled about the fact that we go. The, the other takeaway for me is we are going to stay a star club if I have to do it myself. <laughs> And we're going to keep doing grants like this. We're going to keep doing trips like this. And we're going to keep asking the Interact Club at Oldham County High School to go with us on trips like this because it teaches everybody something important. 
about service, about our community, about who you care about and why you care about them. It matters that we help each other. And, and this is a good way for us to show that. So I was thrilled about it. All right, I'm gonna stop. What questions do we have of the students? John. Great question. I think it was dead bugs or some weird thing, manatee that Al did to me. Uh, so you all, Al didn't admit, you know, I'm only in the club for a little bit, almost five years. And so y'all don't know a lot about me necessarily. In my free time, I want to run. I want to exercise. I really care about my business, care about my family, but I got to take care of myself too. And so every day we were there, we were running. I was running. I dragged the two guys out with me the first day. We did a great Three, they did three, I did five. The next day, we I did three, they stayed inside until I got there, at which point Al, if you're familiar with F3, he's talked about his F3 experience. Yankovic is his nickname. You can use that. Um, he he led us in one of their F3 exercises, and that might have been the thing, John. Mm. Um, mm. I'm going to blame it on Al. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Greg. I, I'm going to blame it on Al. It might have been the drywall because I, I, there were a couple of moments Sophie saw the looking. Man, not, not a question, but you know, when I retired last August, every time we had to call their students, what would I do? I would go down the line, give them dollar, 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 every single one of them. And obviously they're not here today, but for the two students of the month, what I would like to do. Oh, I know, no, no. It'll make me feel much better. If you take it. Please take it. Oh, I know you <laughs> It's okay. It's for him. It's not for you. There we go. You're more than welcome. So thank you for letting me do that. Yeah. What are the questions? I think the burning question is uh, who do we have to worry about at the pool table? It's Al Early. Al, tell him why you're a pool shark. I play pool. <laughs> I don't know. Presbyterian I, minister is killing people in pool. How about that? Yeah. Right, so yeah. Uh-oh. Actually, right? it's really just me because everyone else that plays against me ends up winning for me. I don't think that's the case because I no. played against you and I lost all those games. So Exactly. Yeah. No, because everyone would just like lose for me. <laughs> no. I did no worse. Yeah. I still won. Well, <laughs> it, was a, it was a great experience. Socially. Service-wise, it was great. What are the questions? Can I make a comment? Yeah, please. Um, you mentioned uh, working with the Painesville Rotary Club. And earlier, we talked about winning an award. And that is just, I'm, I'm saying this especially to our new members, that's just an idea guy. Three years ago, we had Steve Hagee, who, by the way, today is celebrating his 25th anniversary. He came and talked to our club about the, the county fair. And remember, three years ago was the COVID year, 2020. And he said, I could use some help because we got to take temperatures and write down everybody's name and phone number and all that stuff. So a few of us helped him out in uh, 2020. And then in 21 and 22, we've been working the parking gate, right? Um, but in 22, literally the morning that we were starting was you know, a few days after the floods that happened in, in uh, Eastern Kentucky. And so I reached out to Josh, who's the uh, fair president, and said, I just got a crazy idea. Could we collect some you know, money from folks? And literally, he met with his board real quick. And at noon that day, he said, yes. So I got some buckets and signs together, and we started doing it. And I know a number of you worked it uh, uh, last year. And we raised $2,250. How does that tie in? At $2,250, we sent a check to the Paintsville Rotary Club because we wanted it to go somewhere locally where they would put it to the uh, the best use so it was nice to have won an award but I, I again i mentioned that because again any of you might have a, an idea like that and as rotarians sometimes just bring it forward a bunch of us maybe it's just a handful of us whatever we can action that and it's amazing what you can do when we uh when we take something like that and uh work it through yeah it's great it's rosemary thank you for connecting me with cindy as well in the, that club, that was a real treat for us and for the students. That was a great meal uh, to have that respite. So, any other questions? We have four minutes. Mm -hmm. Go for it. Uh oh. Uh, but I Yeah. 
and um, he was texting with me pretty regularly, which is great. I found out about it from you guys helped me with softening the soft and underwear drives for the last few years. And I said, yes, we do need clothes. We need voice clothes, especially. Voice clothes are very hard to come by. And he said, okay, I'll drop some off at your porch. And about two hours later, he texted and said, how about you just go ahead and take a thousand dollars to go buy so many clothes that you can bring your house. So I was able to buy 357 pairs of underwear, 104 shirts, 108 pair of shorts. Mm. Um, so this, his generosity that is the heart of rotary um, just took him reaching out and one little tiny text message, which made a really big difference. My entire SUV full of brand new blue boy clothes from Canada, ages four to 16. Mm. <laughs> my, my holding. Would you hold on? Yeah. yeah. So, um, this is a little bit of inside baseball. When I first got to know this Rotary Club, I got to know David uh, Peter Devalier, who you all already know as as the Crestwood Neighbors publisher and all that. He's a Southland Rotarian. He's great, really, really good guy. He said to me, "Yeah, Lagrange Rotary is a bit of a checkbook club." And I thought, I don't know about that. I know. And I was starting. I wanted to watch. I wanted to see. That is not the case with the Lagrange, Lagrange Rotary Club. We're a serving club. We serve well. We serve often, and I'm proud of you. So keep up the good work. Amen. All right, Nat. Last three, nine, four, eight. Yeah. All right, Donna. Hey. Again, yeah. the one who deserves. I'm gonna win this. <laughs> the uh, pot, if my numbers are correct, I think the pot is at $188. All right. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. So, students, Frank, Eliza, Sophie, would you uh, also please, Mr. Steedley, would you get the student there at the table? Come on up. Come on up. Uh, we're going to hang around. We're going to do a couple of photos. In the meantime, I have something to break them that I want to give you. You heard us say at the beginning of the meeting, the four-way test, you heard it at the beginning of the Rotary meeting that we did. Um, this is the four-way test of the things we think say and do is uh, not just a call and response. It is very much a guiding light to the way that we as want to serve in the world. So I'm going to give you a, a, a coin that honors that four-way test as you move forward. We're excited to know you, excited to be into you, and call it fantastic. Keep up the good work. Don't leave without a photo. Okay. Oh, you, I didn't know. I didn't know. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Hey, we're out on time. Have a great day. So let's do the students of the month and then let's do the auction students. Okay. Okay. Right. So if you would make sure that she gets her name as well. Great. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So proud of you. Yeah. All right, Eliza. Yes. Can you do more? I'm already leaning this way. I'm Yeah, so I It was the moving back when the two touched. You didn't touch me. Or you might have an idea.
I'm looking a bump to that dinner yeah. 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 And the fact that we didn't get that any one of those. I just need to make sure for the paper. Sophie, you're so fun. You're so fun. <laughs> you know, um, I just think that was such a cool experience. So the fact that I got this bottle together. Is it really? It's so flexible. You won't stop. I'm sure you got a friend for life. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. and, yeah. I could have done all Sophie, Sophia, uh, like smiley faces in the drywall. Because that's all she wanted to do. Yeah. 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 Yeah.